Hello everyone, welcome back to SnowRunner once again. We have an awesome mod we are going to be checking out today by John John Hot Rod. This is the Earthrunner XXL HD RV and it's a beast. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up and listen to it. Oh yeah, that thing sounds awesome. It's got some lighting on the front here as you can see and also on the sides of it, which is really, really nice. And we're here in Maine, and I'll be honest, I have not explored Maine at all. I have been off the wagon when it comes to this game for a very long time. So I saw this mod, I was like, dude, we are going exploring today. That is for certain. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Here's the interior right here. Obviously, it is a Ford style vehicle, like an F550, um, but it is console friendly, hence the reason why there's no badging on it or anything like that. But look at the trail cameras on this thing driver passenger rear view i mean that is insane so i gotta say a lot of mods have been coming out that uh are fantastic and add a lot to the game but this one in particular i mean you know me i'm a sucker for rvs and to let you in on the reason behind that i grew up with rvs um back whenever i was younger my grandma had rvs and we used to go camping all the time in them so that is a goal in life for me is to own an rv but this thing is absolutely OP compared to anything I ever wanted in my life. But now that I've seen this, I can't unsee it. I want it. <laughs> I want this in real life. All right, let's turn our all wheel drive on here. Now, how many of you have actually, okay, well, we can't cross this, can we? Not necessarily. Uh, we can go around that way. We'll do that instead. But how many of you have actually forgotten about SnowRunner or haven't played it in a while and uh, haven't checked out main yet? Because this is something that was added not too long ago, but I've been waiting to uh, get back into it, and here we are. So this is going to be our scout vehicle today, trying to unlock some of the little uh, watchtowers. I can tell you she's a little heavy on the frames. I kind of expected that, but uh, it is a little heavy on the frames. Over to the side we go, but it's not as top-heavy as I was expecting. It's actually pretty stout. Uh, in fact, there is an option I'll show you later on for the suspension to raise it up even higher. It has an active suspension on it, but I chose to go with the lower one. It kind of looked a little crazy, uh, jacked up in the air like that on the biggest tires I could get on it. Um, all right, let's have a look here and see what we're doing. So I need to make a right-hand turn out of here and then get this watchtower. Let's do that. But yeah, that's where I have been with this game. Um, last time we played it, I think we tried to move snow around with the plow and it didn't really work out so great, but Regardless, I digress. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday, by the way. Happy Wednesday. Hope you've had a great week so far. For those of you that showed up last night for my Hunter stream, I want to let you know we're going to be uh, doing another one tonight of the same game, The Hunter, Call of the Wild, uh, with the new Modern Rifles pack. If you want to check it out on twitch.tv slash jfaviana. I'll be live tonight. Um, and we're giving away two diamond bundles of the game, thanks to Expansive Worlds for that one. Um, wow, this is a capable RV, I must say. I mean, it is awesome. Okay, we made it down to this little village here, and the watchtower is up here on our left, so we need to get up there to that, right up there. Okay, so I think we can do it back here. It's going to be interesting, though. Um, actually, you know what? I think we can crawl right up that. Right over there, okay. Let's do that. We'll turn here to the right. Yeah, this seems like this will be a good enough clearing to climb. No problem. And we are having no issues climbing anything with this particular vehicle. This thing is a monster. And I mean, wow. There's nothing we can throw at this thing. So far, so good. We haven't rolled it either. Oh, we might have it stuck. Nope, we're good. By the way, this thing has a mean winch on it as well. And it is a battery operated one. Oh, I don't think we're gonna be able to get through that. Maybe, maybe. Let's go to the right a little bit more here. I'm just like smashing trees down, trying to climb this thing, but it's climbing it. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Rock crawling with an RV? Yes, I think so. And look at that, that was not a problem at all. So if you're looking for a scout vehicle to get the job done, here you go, man. Have a look at the observation. So Maine is a lot more mountainous than I thought it was. You know, I have been to Portland, Maine in my life. Uh, I flew in there with my buddy a while back. I actually have a vlog of that on my YouTube channel. Um, and I got to say, I don't remember it looking like this, but I have never been on the west side of Maine. So maybe this is a little more mountainous than the real Maine, but 
Maybe not. I could be wrong about that. Well, that watchtower opened up quite a bit. So we can go down this hill here and we need to get on this trail and then we can take this down and around back over to this. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Descending these rocks is going to be interesting as this is quite a rocky little spot right here. But I mean, these things, these tires have no problem with this terrain at all. And I mean, I cannot believe we haven't rolled this thing over yet. All right, I went ahead and uh, changed my visual preset down to high instead of ultra, and I got my frame rates back. So if you're wondering how to do that, that is, uh, that's going to help you out if you are struggling frame rate wise on PC, at least with this mod. So that helped us tremendously. Okay, let's see how it does here in the mud. I'm not having any issues with this at all. I mean, look at that. It is just going straight through it. No problem. Mud puddles here to get through. No problem. Let's see how this does. I, I don't think it's going to even remotely slow us down. Nope, not at all. I mean, I'm just keeping this thing in auto right now. I haven't even jumped it up into like high or anything like that. Let's turn our all-wheel drive off and just see how she does here. A little bit more speed. Road into high mode. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so, man. That thing just launched when I threw it in high. We're going to do it on the highway here for sure. Get it highway yeah i'll see myself out okay left turn here check it out there's the fishing boats and stuff i haven't explored maine like i said so it, this is new to me and i'm excited to see it all right back to the right this way we need to get a nice straightaway which we're not going to get i have a feeling we're not going to get that at all but auto is going through the gears no problem we're in third here out of 10 i did have a 10 speed in this thing okay let's see how it does over these okay not a problem at all going right over that what is that thing doing over here? There's a little thing here. Let's see what the task is. Man, look at those little fishing boats. Nice. So this task is shore collapse. Some rocks have collapsed in the path. The shore, let's clear the path together. We just need what we need. Okay. Um. Well, we'll get that later on. But I do have a hitch on the back of this thing. You see right there in the back. So if we had to pull a trailer, we certainly can with this thing, if you're wondering. All right, let's throw this thing up into high gear here now. I want to see how fast we can get this thing up to. Oh, man, look at it launching. Just insanity speeds. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. It, the thing is ridiculously fast. So now we uh, we have to be... Oh, we have destroyed the front end of that thing on that last little... Uh, stunt we did where we were super fast and smashed into stuff. Okay, now we're going downhill and there's a bunch of rocks here. Now that's the question. We have this over here on the right we need to get that watchtower, but I want to see if this thing will crawl over these rocks. This is usually something you can't do in scout vehicles, but I have a feeling this thing is going to be like, what are you talking about? We got this for days and I am right. It's driving right over the rock pile mess. Oh, come on. You're good. Let's put this thing into low here. Oh, we didn't have our all-wheel drive on. That would help, wouldn't it? Yeah, there you go. That was just two-wheel we saw. <laughs> all right. Nice. Don't have to worry about any blockades at all. That's pretty sweet. All right. Onward we go. There's a gas station down here as well. I got to say, the fuel consumption hasn't been too bad, and I do have the worst engine in it for fuel consumption. So if you were wondering... If that was that bad, it's really not. Okay, is it that we're going to? So I was talking about that active suspension. Here's the suspension mode. If you want to jump it up and down, you certainly can. Activate radar. I don't even know what that does. You can, oh, you can scan the land. Check that little guy out. There's a radar in the back there. Okay. Does that mean <laughs> the area's been scanned? Okay, that definitely opened up a lot more of this spot here around us. We can see a lot more. That's pretty cool. So that's what that does. So I can come down here and actually do that over and over again. We can see the watchtower. Boy, there's just so many surprises today, aren't there, with this thing. This is an amazing, amazing RV. I am loving this. Okay, can we take a ferry across? That's what it's looking like we need to do. Um, there's the Irish pub right there on the left. Yeah, there's like a ferry boat that would go across, but we can't, obviously. We need to go a different way. But this is really cool looking, man. All right, Earth Runner, you know what to do. I'm going to go ahead and just cross over here on the left. That's what we're going to do. I don't, I, I'm not even worried about it. We, we know how capable this thing is, and I don't think this is going to be any problem for it at all. Oh, yeah, there's shallow over here on the right with rocks. <laughs> Come on down there. There you go. Just like that. Sweet. Oh, yeah. That's got to be what we got to get that, that lighthouse. I like these little water spots over here. This is like a nice little 
shallow creek here that drops down into there like a little waterfall there nice activating radar scanning the land let's see what it does here it's doing its thing there we go yeah all the money's worth so many things discovered by doing that that is so cool without having to actually come down here to that which we're gonna go get anyway and here is the watchtower point right here we're gonna grab just real quick and enjoy the observation beautiful maine you can see all the boats there we have some seagulls very nice we got more of the map unlocked we need to go this way to get this one and then that one those are the last two we have to get okay sounds good to me we're gonna start our little journey uh, by going back down this way, taking this road down and making a left. I do plan to be driving through the night here because we haven't seen what this thing looks like at night, especially with those side lamps, you know? That's going to look awesome. All right, we make a left coming up here at the end of this road. Nice little town here. See an old, old church and school and stuff. Fishing shop there. Time trial right there. All right, we're kind of on the highway now. Look at the speed we get here. Just throw it into high and then into the water. Oh, don't wreck it. We're, <laughs> we're good. There. Oh, it, it destroyed the suspension there. Oh, hard in the brakes there, by the way. Whoa. All right, we're just going to keep taking this road. But man, yeah, this is an old highway system that's just been flooded out, it looks like. And it's no match for this RV. Let me tell you, this is... This is my favorite scout vehicle I think I've ever used in SnowRunner. And that's the watch point right up there on the right. Sweet. So I'm sure there's going to be a little road that'll take us there. That's what it looks like right there in front of us. So yes, we will take this little trail right here on the right. Oh, it's snowing. Okay, I was wondering if it was going to snow or not in this map because I've seen snow on the ground one, but two, it's got this bluish hue whenever... It's during the afternoon. Over these rocks, careful now. That was some damage. That was some damage. Now you do get a bunch of free little goodies. I'll show you at the end of this video when we go over what you can do with this thing. Um, but the uh, the goodies basically give you more damage points and tires and things like that. So we're gonna actually go ahead and fix this thing when we unlock this. Another beautiful scene here in Maine. You gotta love it. All right, let's refuel ourselves because we can from the goodies, as you can see right there. And then we'll also go ahead and repair ourselves from the goodies that we have. There we go. That's pretty much all of it, right? Well, it didn't really repair the right front, did it? So here she is at night, Dat Moon though. Look at that moon, that looks amazing. So here's the lighting on it from the outside. You have the side lighting, the rear lighting there but it doesn't really light up anything when it comes down to it, to be perfectly honest with you. Shut the lights off here. You can see what I'm talking about. There you go. And we damaged all of our uh, off-road lights, unfortunately. So um, yeah, it doesn't light up anything around you. Okay, we had a nice little camping trip here up to the top of here, but we're gonna go back down and get back on the highway and we're gonna take it to the next little tower before I show you guys everything you can do with this mod. But yes. Very cool that we have this for consoles as well. So if you wanna go tearing up Maine without having to be stuck in the mud constantly, well, this is your ticket. Wow, this is completely flooded out. We do have a snorkel on this. Now there's an option for a, oh my God, that car went flying. What was that about? I didn't even touch it. Very strange. Um, I have a snorkel on this thing, but you do have an option for an invisible snorkel if you don't like the look of it. But I thought that was kind of, nah. So I went with this instead. Got a beautiful waterfall up here on the right-hand side. Look at those rocks. Not bad at all. Okay, Maine, I'm liking this map. This is pretty darn cool. More cars washed away, and look at this. When I drive near them, they go flipping over. Oh my God, it went through the map. It fell through the map, it totally did. Low Lendale, a nice place to live. Well. I mean, I guess when it's not flooding, got a trailer of stuff over here on the left-hand side. And here is the tunnel, okay? So maybe this takes you to the next one, but we need to get that other watch point, which is nearby. Where does this take you? So this will take you to Yellow Rock National Forest. Okay, so that's where that is. And we need to go over here to get that guy. So we'll go get this and then we'll go to Yellow Rock National Forest. We are gonna scan the land here really quick just so I can see if there's any little trail that'll get me up there quicker. 
And from the looks of it, looks like I need to come back here where this was and then kind of follow this trail up that way to it. So far, so good. We're just kind of following this around. And it looks like it's going to just kind of wind around and take us up where we need to go. But yeah, this thing is an absolute monster right now. And we have no issues climbing this. Boy, this is really muddy right here, right in this little sector here. Let's put it in low just so you can see what I'm talking about. Climbing the mountain here. Very deep mud. So uh, the tires themselves said that they were excellent for mud. Time to cross over some big rocks there. There's the watchtower there. Okay. I mean, this is going to, I don't think it's going to be a problem for it. Let's put it in low here. I might have to be a little more strategic here. You can't just like willy nilly over these. Might have to use a winch for the first time. Let's go ahead and do it. Winch right over the top of these rocks. Yeah, we we met its match. Massive boulders. Although it seems to be okay with the winch helping us. So that's, that's awesome. And there we go. We're going to be on the other side now. I'm going to go ahead and just release the winch. And maybe get off these rocks. Yes, we got off the rocks. No problem right there. All right, getting closer to unlocking this. Got a silo and a mobile home up here on the left, which looks like a whole little facility. And then we have a house right here on the right, which we're going to make the right turn down here because I think this is the trail that'll take us up to the watchtower itself. And yeah, that seems to be the case. So we'll make a right turn here. See, we're starting to get mud on our RV today. That's what we want. It's a little bit of snow and mud today in this episode. So we're keeping the name true of SnowRunner to us. Boy, I don't know how we're gonna get up to that thing other than maybe around the back side, there might be a option. Uh, or we can just go straight up this way, honestly, to the left, between these two trees and then to the left. Yep, that's gonna be our best bet, probably right there. We do have big boulders right here, but she's climbing them, no problem. There you go, grab all that you can. Might have to use our little winch here. No problem. Yep, just winch on up and get some grip on the back tires like that. There you go. That's one way to do it. Oh, I love the OP trucks. I do. I really do. It is tight through here, man. With all these trees right here, this was not an easy spot to get to. I can imagine for those of you that did it in some vanilla trucks, but all right, we got it. And there's that beautiful scene here up on the mountain. All right, let's just full send this thing off the side of a mountain because we have a winch. We could probably knock ourselves back over, I'd imagine. There you go, just straight off the side of the mountain. <laughs> Engine stalled and rolled it. I mean, we're going to be able to... Oh, there we go. She fired back up. Now go in reverse down the mountain. There you go. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, I love this RV so much. I really do. Oh, just drive over that. Yeah, not a problem at all. Trees, not an issue for the Earthrunner XXLHD. And let me tell you, oh, the name Earthrunner makes absolute sense for this thing. I will be honest with you. I thought that this thing would have rolled over a lot more than it has with it being top heavy like this. But I mean, it is just proving me wrong in so many ways. Okay, we made it back here to the tunnel. We can go ahead and change our suspension mode back down now. Don't need it all the way raised in the air. And let's check out a little bit of Yellow Rock National Forest. Welcome to the Yellow Rock National Forest in Maine, USA. So seems like there's a little bit more snow on this one. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's the same. I'm going to travel right down over here and we're going to do a scan just so we can see a little bit of the map right here by this tower. Actually, Ooh, man, thing got slideways on us there. There we go. Right here is going to be perfect. Let's go ahead and just pull the handbrake right there and we will activate the radar and scan the land. There it goes. And we'll see if there's anything cool around here before we head back to the garage and I show you what there is to do with this truck. Here you go. So a lot here to see. Um, it is a pretty decent sized map too. So that's off to them for adding more to the game. And we have recovered here to a garage. Let's go ahead and go to the customize options here. So you can see what we have here. So today we were using the tow and haul HD 6.7 liter spec engine, but you have options for the grocery getter, the stockish diesel that comes with it by default, a trail runner diesel, and then a vanilla diesel spec as well. Gearbox in this thing, I use the tow and haul 10 speed trans, but you have options here for a four, you have a crawler transmission, then you also have a spec six speed and a vanilla spec six speed. So a trail runner option as well. Suspension, here you go. So uh, we were using the just spec active, so it looked pretty stout and good on the ground, but you can do a max lift on this thing, even with an active, 
and you can see just the difference there is there so these are the different options for your suspension tire options here here you go i went with the 56 uh grapple runners but you have or sorry i went with the grapple runners down here the uh the 60 inches yeah that's what we wanted and uh and then we have these other options here so a bunch of options for tires for sure um you love to see it especially down here in mud tires and then chained a couple chained options winch we have our trail runner spec 12 volt or you can get a vanilla spec that only has 15 feet diff lock of course visuals tow and haul you got a pencil hitch or a shorty uh, and then you have these options here. These are all the goodies I was telling you about. All the different repair parts, fuel, uh, you know, uh, fuel, spare, wheels, whatever. Uh, and then off-road gear, invisible snorkel, trail runner, or the trail runner recovery boards on the back, if you would like to have that visual. Uh, onboard radar repairs. That's where we had the onboard radar. You can remove it if you'd like. But uh, you also have the spare tire and onboard repair parts um, as well. Very cool. Um, and then you have lace, license plate to take off the front or the rear. Of course, you have to, you know, sell them if you want to get rid of them. Uh, and then the rim options, you have the bead locks. I do like the bead locks. Um, this is what it came with by default. And I really like the black protruding wheels on it. So I went with those. But you have barricade, uh, bead locks, arsenal, which is the black ones, and then the armory ones, which is also a great look for the uh, RV as well. So then options for colors, you have a bunch of them. Um, I just went with the classic like style RV, you know, a, a white one. Uh, but you have this one by default, this little uh, gunmetal one. Then you have a black one and all sorts of different color options here. But you can see that uh, you can kind of choose whatever you want to uh, to, ma to make you happy. Uh, decorations, obviously, all the bobbleheads that you would expect and accessories as well. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of SnowRunner. Let me know what you thought of the RV in the comments below. I love it. Huge thanks to the mod uh, guys out there that are making these uh, available to us. I will have it linked in the description below. Uh, check out twitch.tv slash tonight for the Hunter stream, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.